Hi everyone, welcome back for another Citizenship N400 video. Now as you know, the naturalization test has four parts. Most of my students don't have problems with the rating, the writing, or the 100 civics questions. But the difficult part, the challenge, is when the officer tests your English skills, your listening, and your speaking. They can ask you questions about small talk, about the weather, traffic, your plans for summer, for example. But a big part is the N400 questions and the vocabulary. So this video, I'm going to split this into two series. The first one today, we're going to look at part one to part 12. Part 12, we will look up to question 21. Then I will make another video to take on the second half of the form. If there are any specific questions that you do not understand or words, put them in the comment section and I can add them to our next video. All right, are you ready? So you may notice down here, it says weeks one to three. This is for my current citizenship class. Part one and two, the word eligible. Eligible means you meet the requirements. The officer may ask you, tell me how you are eligible to become a US citizen. Well, I am over 18 years old and I have been a permanent resident in the United States for five years. Or if you're married to an American citizen, I have been a permanent resident in the United States for three years and I am married to an American citizen. Some other vocabulary, spouse. Spouse is a husband or wife, so if you're married. Surname. Think of like when you say sir or ma'am, sir, surname. This can be a family name or your last name. Maiden name, as you can see here, this little girl, it's your name before you are married. Elias or nicknames, different names than your original name. Think of Hollywood actors. They often don't use their real name, right? Uh, my friend Bobby might be called Bob, right? My name is Caroline. My family calls me Carol. Nicknames are usually a little shorter. Disability. A disability is either a mental or physical problem that makes it difficult to learn. The officer may ask if you require an accommodation because of your disability. An accommodation is just extra help or assistance. So if you are deaf, oh, I'm sorry, if you are deaf or hard of hearing, that means you, can, you cannot hear at all or it's just partially. Now, if you were blind or vision impaired, this is not talking about glasses. This is a serious medical condition where you cannot see 100% or partially. Marriage. To be widowed means your husband or wife passed away. They died. They are no longer with you. Annulled. Annulled is a marriage is canceled and erased. This is different than a divorce. A divorce has a legal process. For example, if you are married for 20 years and you choose to get a divorce, you're separated. An annulment can happen when maybe you drink too much alcohol at Las Vegas and you wake up and you're like, what, I'm married? <laughs> you can get this marriage erased. Now, depending on your state, the period of annulment can be different. Prior. Prior means before. For example, uh, who was your prior spouse? Current means now. Who is your current spouse, your current husband or wife? Part 11 focuses on children. So stepchildren, this is from your husband or wife's prior marriage, and they have children. So now that you are getting married to them, they will become your stepchildren. Legally adopted child or children. 
Think about when you go to a shelter and you adopt an animal like a cat or a dog. You bring them into your home and you are legally responsible for their well-being, financially, their health, everything. So you take in another life and you are responsible for them. Biological child, this child is 100% yours and your partner's. So the woman was pregnant and had delivered the baby. Deceased. Deceased means they are no longer alive. They passed away. Okay. Oh, get ready. Part 12 is a lot. So let's get started. We're only going to focus up to question 21 here, and I'll make another video to continue the rest. So there's a ton of vocabulary. <sighs> Deep breaths. You got this. From question one to eight, claim. To claim is to say something without evidence. You can lie or pretend. So have you ever claimed to be a U.S. citizen? Did you lie and say you were a citizen when you were not? I like this picture of the cat. <laughs> My opinion of your opinion. In the other video, I said to claim uh, something like advertisers, marketing, they do this a lot. Oh, drink this special juice and you will lose weight like that. Is it true? Probably not. Register means to sign up. Vote. To elect or choose, for example, elect or vote for future president. Hereditary title or order of nobility is you come from a royal family. In my class, we joke that in your home, you may be the king or queen, but this is asking specifically in a foreign country. Do you have some sort of connection to a royal family? Legally incompetent. Legally incompetent means you cannot take care of yourself because you are mentally sick or ill. Being confined to a mental institution. A mental institution is a mental hospital like this. Confined means you cannot leave. You must stay. I joke with my students that if your children do something bad and you punish them, you say, you are confined to your room, right? They can't leave the house, for example. Oh, you still need to pay. This is a problem if you owe taxes. If you owe taxes, this shows the government that you don't have good moral character, that you are not responsible. And this could be a problem in your application process. So make sure you pay your taxes on time. Overdue? You are late. If you go to the library, for example, and you don't return a book on time, you are overdue and you need to pay a fine. You need to pay extra money. If you are overdue on your bills for your electricity, water, maybe they will shut them off. Okay, now let's look at questions from 9 to 14. Organization. This is any group, social, religious. Organization could be positive. For example, many people belong to a church, a religious organization. Communist Party. If they ask you, have you ever been associated with the Communist Party, and you say no, they will ask you, what is a Communist Party? And it's a government with no freedom. For example, Cuba or North Korea or China. Okay. Totalitarian Party. I tell my students to look at this word, total. Totalitarian thinks... Think of it as one person having control of everything, like a king. This is why colonists came to America, for freedom. They wanted self-government. They don't want a king. Terrorist organization. Think about September 11th. 
It's when a violent or angry group of people want to hurt the government or hurt the people of a country. Advocate. You may see people who are in protest do this. Advocate means to support. And last year, we saw many people advocate for black rights, especially with what happened with George Floyd and police violence. Overthrow. Overthrow. Think about removing or changing a government with violence. For example, what happened to this country at the Capitol on January 6th? They tried to overthrow the government, take it over. Persecute. Persecute means discriminate. Or it means hurt someone because of who they are or what they believe. You treat someone badly because of their beliefs or who they are or what they look like. It's not fair. Nazi government. When you think of Nazi government, who's the first person you think of? Hitler. So Hitler's bad government that killed many innocent Jews. Genocide. Genocide is a mass killing. Again, you can think of Hitler and the Jews, or you think you can think of the African genocides. So killing of a whole group, a whole race of people. Torture. Torture is to hurt someone badly. For sexual contact or relations, that means rape. Now, rape means you push someone to have some sort of sexual relations, even though they say no. You are pushing for sex without their consent, without their permission or agreement. Now, in this next section of part 12, we will look at questions 15 to 21. This focuses on the military and weapons. So I needed to make a little change here. The military unit, think of the military. It means you belong to the military, the army, the Marines, the Navy, the Air Force, in any country. Similarly, think of military unit, military, police unit, think of cops or police officers. A self-defense unit are a group of people that use force to protect themselves. You may see self-defense classes for women, for example, to protect themselves from sexual threats. Vigilante unit. I tell my students, think of Batman. People think Batman is a hero, and he is, but is he officially part of the police unit? He's not. He acts like the police, he goes for the bad guys, but he's not actually part of the police. Rebel group. It means you fight against the government. Gorilla group. I have my little emoji here of a gorilla, same pronunciation. Gorilla group, they use weapons against the government. All of the ones you see here are ideas that you're going against the government and using violence. Militia. Militia is similar to the military, a small private military, but again, not officially part of the army. Insurgent organization. You use weapons against the government. Again, think of what happened at the Capitol on January 6th. Prison camp, otherwise known as a concentration camp where you punish the prisoners. Detention facility. This is a big problem in the United States, especially with immigrants. Detention facility is where you force people to stay. So right now, you may hear on the news quite often about issues of detention facilities being inhumane, not treating people well. And a lot of the people there are in poor health conditions. Labor camp is when you force people to do physical labor, physical work for punishment. Often they are treated like animals, they cannot sleep, they are not fed food, and they're forced to work until they collapse or they die. A weapon. What is a weapon? 
It can be a gun, it can be a knife, a bomb, something used to attack or defend or protect yourself. Threaten. Threaten is to bully or say you're going to hurt someone. Now, when you threaten someone, if someone enters your house and has a weapon, they are threatening you. They want something from you. If you don't give it to them, they will hurt you. This is to threaten. Recruit. Think about like a basketball or soccer team where you're like, oh, wow, you are really talented. You're really good. I want you on my team. I want to recruit you. Come to my team. Enlist means you sign up, you choose to go. For example, my brother enlisted in the military. Conscript. This is when you kind of bully someone. You force someone to join, like a military draft. There is no option and no choice. Thank you for watching everyone. I hope this little video, this short video helped you out with some of the pronunciation of the N400 vocabulary words. Stay tuned. I will be sending out another video covering the rest of the N400 vocabulary. Again, if you have any questions or you don't understand something, let me know. I will also be sharing with you a little worksheet if you look down below the video of the list of the vocabulary words. Okay, take care everyone, bye.